Well, that came out mighty good. I guess I need to trim those edges. Oh. Still a little bit sticky. Nice and solid though. The fiberglass I was just cutting is still a little bit sticky, so I laid it out in the sun because the sun cures the, the resin faster. In the meantime, while that's hardening, I should figure out how to attach these bearings. So these guys should fit right in those slots, I think. And that will cover half of them. So I need something to you know, bolt down to, to hold them in place. See if I can find something. Well, I could make something out of fiberglass, but I'm so sick of fiberglass. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make something out of stainless steel. Let's see what I have around here. All right, my pile of stuff here. Oh, that is a well. That's thick enough. That's for sure thick enough. This is also thick enough, but that's aluminium aluminum. The stainless will last longer in salt water. Yeah, I could definitely cut some pieces out of this stuff. Let's see if I have a smaller piece I can use. Oh, that right there. Yes, that's what I'm going to use. This is totally not going to matter that it's bent, and I think it's thick enough. Is that thick enough? Mm, I don't know. All right, I better just use that bigger piece that's thicker. I know it'll be strong enough. All right, there. Wait a minute. Well, that's thick enough. We can only get three out of that, though. I always try to use smaller pieces because I never know when I need a giant piece for something. All right, Ooh, there's a bunch of iron filings in there because my kids were asking me about thermite. That's going to be a fun day. Okay, I need something to come like this, go halfway around, and then stick out. So, all right, let's measure what's all the way around. Just 14 and a half noodles. So if I do seven, that should give me a bit of clearance to be able to bolt it down. I wanna make sure it's a little bit too small. Because if it's a little bit too big, it'll be loose, but if it's a little bit too small, I can bolt it and make it tight. So. Seven noodles there, maybe stick out one and a half on each side. Yeah, so three more, 10, 10 noodle units. And then how wide? Two, two noodles wide, two by tens. Okay. Hope this can handle this. this thing this thing is amazing oh such a nice cutter all right 
right through the sun lock. Gonna wrap it around this. Hmm. I'm gonna get it the rest of the way. Nope, screw up those bins. Getting there. Well, that's pretty close. Huh. Well, that's not bad. Just bend those down a little bit. Huh. Cool. Not too much. Pretty good there, pretty flat, beauty. All right, just gonna do that three more times. Oh, I better run up and check that this one fits before I do the rest. Whew. Wow, that fits like perfect. Can even make it a little bit tighter, a tiny bit. Make the rest a little bit tighter because that's uh, that one fits like perfectly with uh, not much space for adjustment. All right, what size screw? I think that's a little too small. Those guys will do it five sixteenths. Yeah. Need some washers. Wait a minute, those are the wrong size. What the? Yeah, my kids are rearranging everything all the time. Okay, eight stainless bolts. I figure I should probably get some lock washers in there too. And I'm going to want to put my holes so the washer will press right up against the crease there. Yeah. I don't think I want them to be centered though. I want them to be closer to where the edge that goes like this is so they'll be strong. Right. So off a little bit. Okay, rain, I guess we're going. See this robot? What robot? The big robot. What is that?
Oh, I need a longer screw. All right, all right, let's go get the longer screw. Okay, let's try that again. Well, I guess these guys have this under control. I can go have a snack. Alright, hopefully those are all lined up straight. Oh yeah, good work. Nice. Okay, I think that's tight enough. No, it's tight enough. It's tight enough. <laughs> oh, maniac. 